Ellis right now is talking about uh, being a good training partner. So, training partner, okay. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. We've got a great video for you. If you do jujitsu or other martial arts, this will apply, but really it applies to any, any type of endeavor where humans need to interact with each other. So here comes a video on being the best training partner you can be with Mr. Hollis Gracie. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. All right, so where does somebody begin developing the skills of being the best training partner ever? And what is one? What's that? Yeah, it's, um, it's not an easy job, right? Uh, I feel that like being a good training partner, uh, it's not a good job because, not, a, not an easy job because um, you might get very easily you can get like two ends in, of, of the spectrum that we're going to talk about here that um and we're going to start when it comes to drilling right we martial arts jiu-jitsu we need a training partner to to drill right some people say oh jiu-jitsu is like a solo sports not mm -hmm. it's more of a team sport than anything right you need training partners and you need a multitude of them that have different skills and body types exactly and, so the yeah. more the merrier yeah right Kind of like that party Kane and went to that one time at spring break and he got the crabs. Oh, he did already. Yeah. Yeah. What hell of a party, huh? <laughs> Keep going. That was a joke. Um, so, I mean, sometimes we, let's, I would like to start, you know, with like a guy who, you know, he's so worried that he's not, that he's gonna um, try to mimic uh, a real life scenario when you're drilling that he might put so much energy and strength and resistance that it gets really hard for somebody to, that maybe they never seen that move. Mm -hmm. I may have been called 110 Nick by some guys at our gym before, mm -hmm. meaning like 110% all the time. Yeah. So I've had to learn that. Yeah, and it's, I mean, those, those skills you learn too. Right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't know that. It's not that, uh, you're bad people, they oh man, I want to be an asshole to my now. Sometimes you don't know better, right? And to learn a new skill, a new skill with a high level of resistance, you know, it's very challenging. It'd be like going to the shooting range like we were at today and doing some really complicated drill that yeah. you've never done and not even know how to shoot a gun. Or starting with the with the with the target like far away. Sure. You know, sure. I need to start. You never with, shot a gun, but never shot a gun. Yeah, but shoot that thing at a hundred yards and do it in a second. You know, yeah. so we started from like easier and we progress. So same thing with uh, with uh, drilling, right? Uh, less resistance, uh, then more. But then you gotta. I say it's hard because if you go all the way to the other side of the spectrum, you just have like a somebody like a rag doll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay, yeah, do yeah. the move on me. Easy. Easy, you know. So you're gonna have a hard time. So you gotta learn. You gotta, and sometimes when you still, we have the same, and I see that happen a lot. Like guys that usually like to drill, they roll live with a lot of people, but they usually like to drill the same guys mm -hmm. because they, they almost like they get in sync. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like uh, when I start a class and then I go like drilling time or stuff. It's almost like the same partners every time. And sometimes they work together so much that sometimes I have to break them. Okay, now you go work with, you know, I, I, sure. I mix it up so they can get like a different uh, uh, body type. But uh, it's important to put the, the you know, put your body, because you should, so, uh, a lot of time when we teach technique, it's like a scenario base, mm -hmm. right? You're here, you're trying to do this because the guy is doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're trying to pass the guard this way because the guy is doing a spider guard. Let's mm -hmm. say we talk about spider guard today, right? So the guy has a spider guard on you. This is how you put, you get rid of the spider guard hooks. But if the guy is like not putting all that emphasis on the spider guard, it's just like, doesn't get as realistic. So mm -hmm. that's on the drilling part, you know? So you need to place yourself in the right spot, understand the resistance uh, that you need to put. I'm not a, a huge fan of, okay, now, now you know, so I'm going to be, I'm gonna resist, I'm gonna go 100% resistance uh, to see if you can do it. But sometimes you change a little thing, the scenario, we talk about, you know, the scenario change completely, right? You know, like sometimes you have an elbow here, and then you just do this, boom, you gotta change. So I'm not a big fan of resisting when it comes to drilling. Mm -hmm. right? There's drilling, and then you go live, 
you know, they will try and fight because you can't combine the moves, you can't set up. And then going live, to me, is the same thing, right? I want to give my partner the most resistance that he can handle. And still be learning. And, and still be learning, yeah. right? We're not fighting each other, right? It's like, let's say, you know, and even if I'm, uh, you know, I'm, uh, let's say I'm, uh, I have more experience, higher belt, heavier, and I'm going to train with somebody lighter, lower rank, there's like even, even more tired than I am. Do I need to keep their asses like, you know, through like the whole five, six, ten minutes? Yeah. You know, finish with them as much time, as many times as I can. Let's, let's give the guy a, you know, maybe I use this, uh, I'm not saying that you're always going to be just training for your partner, but everybody has the same mentality, everybody's going to be training for each other. Yeah. That's kind of what we talked about in our podcast, that mutual trust and respect for each other. It's not that I just trust you're not going to break my arm. It's I also trust that you're going to come give me a good training yeah. experience and I'm going to do the same for you. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and, it's, and if it's like, and what I like to say, like you're in a room, let's say you have 20 guys and, and ladies too, um, if everybody's there for each other, you're gonna have 21 coaches instead of just one, mm -hmm. right? So we can even when it's the annoying guy that doesn't know anything, but he still keeps telling everybody how to do things. Yeah, you know, even when that guy's around, <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm just joking. You know, you can definitely, you can definitely, you can definitely learn from uh, from anybody. You know, you can definitely like I'm not, I'm not telling like the guy, everybody like I'm not a fan of the guy when you're going live and then the guy is like. Oh no, no, you're just here, you know, maybe like if. So sometimes it's when you go, it's, it's going live, you're going live. Right? Um, you can coach a little bit, you know, if you have more experience with the person. I usually coach them, uh, going live, uh, when they're in a, in a, in a bad situation. Do this, think about it. You know, like, okay, finally, you know, instead of move, move, move. You know, give them like, give them the hints. Right? It's not that like, Let's say we're on a, on a tough roll, and then suddenly you're past my guard and you mount me. And I'm like, good, 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 now take the arm. You know, not like, you know what I mean? <laughs> now get here, just take the arm now. You know, like, you, yeah. don't, you, you don't need that coach yet. You know, you already, you, you look like you're doing pretty well. And, and that's you know? not really live rolling at that yeah. point because so, you'd be trying to not let me take your arm. Yeah, but, the, but it, has, it has some characters like that. It's almost like, and I don't like that because it looks like I let you pass my guard when in reality it didn't happen. It wasn't, you know, I was mm -hmm. trying to keep it from passing. And you achieved, you did something good, you achieved and down the end trying to like, just like, yeah, I'm letting you do that. No. Uh, you know what I mean? So like sometimes you hear some, some of that. Some higher bells, there's some higher bells that they could do something like this. I'm not a fan. Um, never done it. If I, if you ever catch me doing something like this, you can have permission to get the bull stuff and crack uh, my skull open. That's pretty heavy. <laughs> I mean, he literally just told me I could potentially murder him if he did like a slight infraction at the gym. That's that's pretty, yeah. pretty serious punishment. Alice. Yeah. Well, you know, it's it's serious. It's right. a serious infraction. We have it on video here that I might have to fly out to New Jersey with my both staff. But you have, you gotta have proof that I did it. <laughs> I need access to those ring cameras in the gym. Yeah. So the reason this is so important to have good training partners, we if we're gonna get the most out of the material and the training experience, but then there's negative outcomes too. Injuries. Yeah. People hating the sport because it hurts or they get yeah. hurt. People retaliating maybe because mm -hmm. they think, well, this is what you do. I crush you, you yeah. crush me. Yeah. Right. The higher rank crush me, so I I'm gonna go to the new guy and crush him. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it will be like a, like a, in my home. I'll beat up my middle brother. My middle brother will beat up the young one. Is that what you guys <laughs> did? No, we used to fight a lot. Are you the I'm oldest? The, I'm the oldest. Okay. Who yeah. wins? They win, man. They win. They tag. They 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 tag team. Do they? No, not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> now they're too big. You want to borrow my bow staff? Oh, I want to. I probably need maybe one of the, yeah, maybe the axe. 
I think this is a great discussion point, though, for any training program. Kanan, who's off camera, has heard me give the speech in our training classes. And we talk about martial arts because, to me, the gun is a martial art, the study of it. Mm -hmm. And people should approach it from the perspective of, even though I'm here by myself shooting, everybody else on the line to get a good outcome, we all have to be good training partners. Yes. And yeah, they need to be good training partners for each other, which can mean so many things. Like on a firearms training program, it could be showing up on time, not mm -hmm. not talking while somebody else is, not of course not being unsafe, uh, making sure that you've got all the crap you need so that we don't have to stop for you to run back to your car five times because there's always two of those people. And then it, it, it not just the flow of training, but are you the guy that's injecting information that's not necessary and superfluous and not helping us get to the destination? So I think it's the same kind of a yes. thing, uh, but you know we're not physically usually touching each other in most of those courses. Um, I don't think the end is good ethics, right? There you go. Yeah, yeah. Being being a good adult about it, looking for the same goals. Yeah, yeah. In some gyms or training academies. They have cultures in them, right? And some of them are like all about me. Like, I'm just I'm here for me. Yeah. And some of them you can tell that people care about each other. Yeah. You know, I think it's it's nice to be in a, in a place where everybody cares about each other. For sure. I dig that. That's what I like most about this. Um, I barely know you. feel like old friends. We're sitting here barefoot on the mat. Yeah. You were just on top of me. Uh, you uh, threatened me with my own bow staff. <laughs> Yeah. Gave me permission to brain you with yeah. it. That's, yeah. So, Hollis, we talked about a bunch of stuff about being a good training partner and not being a poor training partner. Some key takeaways for folks that they can keep in mind when they're training at the gym or at the range uh, to be a good quality training partner. Yeah, I feel that like uh, two key th things there would be, you know, know the, the right amount of resistance you should put uh, for whether when you're drilling or when you're going live, right? And uh, two, I think understand the limitations of your knowing and understand the limitation of your, your your partner. So that would require communication. Yeah. Hey man, is that enough or is that too much? Yeah. You want a little more or a little less? Should I back it off? Am yeah. I being too rough? Exactly. Right. And then the other side too, like if uh, if you're the if you're the guy that you're doing a a a a, a move or, or practicing a technique with somebody that you feel that like. Just putting too much resistance or none, you can say, hey, you know what? They're like, you know, relax here a little bit more. It's, I'm having a hard time doing like with, you know. Something I hear there is requires the practitioner to bury their ego. Because yeah. I don't want to be a pussy and be like, hey, Hollis, you're being really hard on me. Can you, I mean, I want you to think I can handle it. So I don't want to say that when yeah. in reality, now I'm just getting, getting crushed or smashed and I'm not getting the, the results. We got yeah. yeah, going live is, is always harder to do that, right? Hey man, slow down, you know, like, yeah, you can always have the, the tool to tap us, but drilling, drilling is uh, uh, it's very important, like, you know, like, put us like more live here, you know, maybe like this too stiff, you know, let me just mm -hmm. go through this one time or a couple of times without that much energy. I dig it. I hope you guys dug it. We're happy to have Mr. Hollis Gracie out from Hollis Gracie Academy in what city in New Jersey again? Old Bridge, New Jersey. Old Bridge, New Jersey. He also still trains with his cousin Henzo uh, at the academy in New Jersey as well from time to yeah, time. Yeah, I teach there a uh, couple, couple nights a week. Very cool. Hope you guys dug this video. Check him out on Instagram. Give him a follow. Tell somebody you love him. Don't be dickheads. And if you're going to train, be a good freaking partner. For Pete's sakes. <laughs> Dudes, I've got an awesome opportunity to talk to you about. First, my jiu-jitsu coach, Dan Hart. We're at his gym, Alpha BJJ, up in Illinois. He's doing a camp in Tamarindo, Costa Rica, and I want him to tell you about it, and then we got something special to offer you. So guys, December 16th to 20th, I'm running a jiu-jitsu camp down in Tamarindo at Hero Academy. You can sign up for it. It's $9.99. It's five days of training. That includes your hotel, breakfast every day by a chef, sunset cruise, 
custom rash guard and shorts. Um, Hero Academy is a non-for-profit gym that my friend Ron Jarman runs. They provide training for local kids at no cost. They get uniforms for them. They do all kinds of community outreach that they have these kids help do, donating food during COVID, all kinds of great stuff. 100% of the proceeds from my camp are going to be going to Hero Academy. We're not making a dollar off of it. People can sign up and come, like Kanan and I, who are behind the camera, we're gonna go train, but then people are gonna maybe win something. What yeah, so Mick and I teamed up together and decided we wanna give away a spot, help raise some extra funds for Hero, also give you guys a chance to win a trip. So for every $50 you donate to Hero Academy, you get one entry. One month out from the camp, Mick and I will get together, do a live or however we do it. We'll draw a name, somebody's gonna win a free trip. Not only that, Mick and I agreed we're gonna split your airfare up to 750 bucks. So the whole trip is on us. All you have to do to sign up is follow me on Instagram, follow Mick on Instagram, follow Hero Academy, and tag three of your friends that you think would be interested. We'll drop all the links for that down below. Literally, for 50 bucks, you could win an amazing vacation. If you do jujitsu, you're gonna come train your butt off. It's gonna be awesome. You'll meet people that you'll make friends with for the rest of your life. Amazing sunsets, monkeys and trees, $20 massages on the beach, what's not to love. Follow the links, check it out, help some kids get fit, go on vacation, meet strangers on the beach, make bad decisions, hang out with us, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs>